Hi, I'm Mike Galloway, Senior Applications Engineer for Monaghan Tooling Group. We're here today to talk about Diatool High Performance Reaming. So what is high performance reaming? Well, there's three traditional ways of manufacturing precision holes. One is fine boring, single point boring. The other is using a what we call a padded tool, which is single blade, or we use the multiple blade, which is what our Diatool reamers are. Single blade has an issue because the cutting diameter and the guiding diameter may not be the same. Whereas on the uh, Diatool reamers, the cutting diameter and the supporting guides are on the same diameter. So high performance reaming. So we have several different styles and, and types. We have monoblock, which basically means one solid piece. Uh, they have them both expandable and solid. We have a replaceable head system where you can just take just the head off. Uh, expandable ring systems, similar, you just take the ring off. And our new product is Top Speed Ring TSR, which has a replaceable ring, but it's not, not adjustable or expandable. Then, of course, we have special reamers. The monoblock, replaceable head, and expandable will all fit legacy reamers and, and rings that you may already have in your plant. It's just an easy swap out. We can retip any of these products, including some of the legacy product. And uh, we also have compensation holders and adapters because not every spindle has perfect run out. And with the compensation adapters, you can dial, dial any kind of run out out so you're more precise. I mean, when you're trying to hold less than five tenths size, you need to have that spindle running true. Uh, and then we also have floating holders for lays, which of course have the same issue with the x-axis never in alignment this allows the reamer to float and follow the bore that's already uh, in the in the part so why use the diatool reamer cycle time reduction we saw before in the earlier slide that we had single point boring that's one cutting edge and depending on the size of the part uh, the, the reamer you may have multiples four six eight ten twelve different cutting uh, edges so you can really improve your cycle time by pushing it harder they're cost effective cost effective because they can be re-tipped multiple times um, application related consulting your reamer is made for your application we don't stock anything on the shelf everything is made to order for your material your parts your, your machine all that precision products we've been making these reamers for a super long time the reamers, every time you take one out of the tube, it's going to be the same. That may, that follows into the next one, ease of use. So the operator pulls the reamer out, cleans it off, puts it in the holder, sets the pre-length, and the boom, you're ready to go. You don't have to monkey around with setting or thinking, oh, it's, you know, one time it cuts good, another time it doesn't cut at all. No. What that helps you with is part quality and consistency. Now you know that first part good part and this comes down to process security with process security that means no matter what time of day it is first shift second shift third shift whenever whoever's setting the tools or using the tools will be able to give you a precision product every single time so let's talk about monoblock reamers they uh we have non-expandable or expandable and the range is uh 5.6 to 60 uh, 0.599 millimeters. Uh, when we talk about expandable, we're not talking about adjustable. What happens is as the tool begins to wear, it gets smaller and smaller. There's a feature on the end of the end of the tool where you can expand the tool just to bring it back up. And we're talking talking microns here, or tenths as as you make that adjustment. Uh, and of course, we can do specials, uh, special diameters, special multiple diameters, special length. Typically, the length is usually the most popular one. We can make them with and without coolant. Why spend money on something that you don't need? Now, the nice thing is, is that you can add the coolant later if you if you change machines. Uh, same thing with uh, if you, you started out with a non-expandable and you said, you know what? We'd like to have a little bit better um, uh, capability here we want to be able to expand this as the tool begins to wear we can convert an ex uh, a non-expandable into an expandable no problem for a small fee 
Uh, we have short and long versions, and these are, again, compatible with legacy reamers that you may already be running in your plant. Uh, so they're just a swap out. Uh, they are available in various cutting materials, carbide, cermet, PCD, and then, of course, we have multiple uh, different coatings for different materials uh, for stainlesses and cast irons, etc. Uh, and then, of course, the expansion feature, is, again, is on the end of the tool. You stick a hex key in the end, uh, and then you just twist it to tighten it down a little bit, and then you expand it. Super easy to use. The next product is the reaming heads. I have, uh, they call them modular reaming heads. They're 9.6 to 60 millimeters. Um, they're, again, same different coatings, different cutting materials. Uh, it's a modular reaming system. That means the head just pops off the end. You stick a hex key in the end, you unscrew it, and it comes out. And um, again, you don't have to set any of these. They're ready to go right out of the box. Uh, they're simple and fast and precise, super easy to use. They have internal coolant supply, and of course, that depends on the style of holder that you need. Uh, that's where the coolant comes from, or if it's for blind coolant, it comes through the hole in the center. Uh, we have short and long holder versions. Again, these are just compatible with, with legacy products that you may already have in your, in your plant. It leads to expandable cutting rings. Uh, they're 50.6 to 150.59 millimeters. They're expandable. You can have straight or left-hand fluting. Left-hand flute would push the chip forward. Uh, we have, again, different cutting materials, coatings, uh, simple and precise. Now, in this particular case, you will have to have somebody that will be able to ex measure that as you expand it. Uh, so you will, there's a little bit easier. It's not quite straight out of the box uh, like the other tools are. Uh, it has internal coolant supply and... Um, because the teeth are not all in the same, they're not evenly spaced, that leads to a, a more round precision hole. The cutting fluid holes on our holders actually line up with each one of those flutes. So you're always constantly getting coolant right down at the cutting edge. Uh, short and long holders, uh, again, the same style as the legacy tools. They're all interchangeable. And of course, it's easy to use expansion feature depending on the style of the holder. There's a ring on the back or there's a ring on the front to, to expand the tool as, as it begins to wear. Our new product is called the Top Speed Reaming System, TSR. Uh, the advantage is higher feed rates, no, no setting sizes, similar to the re replaceable head or the, the modular head. You just put it on and tighten it down and you're ready to go. Um, the reason it's considered higher feed rates is because it has more teeth, a lot more teeth than a standard ring does. So you're able to push uh, your feed rates much, much higher to reduce your cycle time. Uh, so the ring sizes there are uh, 50 to 225 millimeter. Yes, that's 225 millimeters, 8.8 uh, .8 inches, uh, largest rings we've ever made. Uh, as far as the number of teeth goes, uh, the 50 millimeter it has 10 teeth. Typically, it would only have eight. Uh, 80 millimeters is 12. Again, we'd only have eight. Uh, and 100 is 16, so we only have eight. So you're actually twice as many cutting edges there. Uh, we have the standard is left hand or helix or straight fluted, just like all the rest of the tools are available. Um, it is non expandable, so you don't have to worry about having operators mess with the size at all. And of course, again, carbide or cermet blades, depending on uh, depending on what the part material is. And again, internal coolant supply, coolant will definitely help the tool life, uh, wash out the chips and everything. Uh, and it comes with a, you have to use an integrated holder with it. It has a cylindrical shank, which you can put it in uh, like a precision hydraulic chuck. Or in the picture here is a modular connection as well that allows you to dial out any kind of error in your, uh, in your spindle. Special reamers. We do a lot of special reamers. Uh, multiple diameters, step tools, alternate geometries, and radii. We do uh, front front corner radii if you need that. Uh, Non-standard length is probably the most popular um, special that we have. Uh, and typically, things are done in millimeters, but we can do inch shanks, no, pro no problem. And there's no charge difference between the two. And, of course, we can do tapered reamers as well. 
Um, so what kind of parts are we talking about? We've got fabricated parts. We have a carrier there in the center is uh, for an automotive transmission. Steel tubes on the left is for an electrical um, electrical part, uh, automotive style uh, connecting rods. We do those as well. So in summary, short lead times on standard tools, and we have short lead times on specials too. Uh, easy to use TSR system. We tip all the competitors' reamers, no problem. Uh, complete tooling packages, including holders, we can do all of that uh, as far as all the engineering part on that, drawings and everything. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-732-4565 or go to the website, monahantooling.com. Thank you.